Before we start this video, I want to say a quick thank you to Bandai for providing the flash decks for the upcoming TCG Battle Spirits Saga. Battle Spirits is going to be featuring four new trial decks that's going to be coming out in the spring of next year, as well as cash prize tournaments for all you competitive players. Thank you guys again for watching this video, and let's get on to the gameplay. All right. Getting started playing some Battle Spirits. We here at Nexus Core have been graciously reached out to by Bandai to uh, demo the new upcoming Battle Spirits TCG that will be coming uh, stateside in spring of 2023. They've uh, given us some flash decks to go over. We've been learning the game and the rules, and uh, we're gonna do a quick game just to show you guys how the game works. Do you mind just Maybe. cutting my deck, good sir? You too. Thanks. So I will. Uh, draw four cards, and I will mulligan. So I'll put the four cards I drew at the bottom of the deck, draw my new hand, and then shuffle. I think I'm gonna keep the cards that I have. All right. Do you have your five life and your three blue and one red core? I do have my soul core, yeah. Odd or even? Even. Uh, so I'll go first. So I will uh, not add anything to the reserve. I'll draw a card though. I will put a card face down in the burst zone So I can activate it at a later point in the game and then I will pay Three of my cores so I can cast uh, the dragon captain and I will give it one excess core So it can come in at level one and not die as it enters the battlefield and uh, That will be it for my turn. All right, so I'm going second uh, I will draw, and from the void, <laughs> I will grab another core, put it in my reserve. I will spend one core to play Rain Needle and put a core on it to have it at level one. Now that I have Rain Needle on my board for a core cost of one, I can reduce the cost to play Dragno Shock Troops. I will pay one instead of the two costs since I have one on the board and then I will give it one core so that it can be on the board. You have a body that's way bigger than mine at the moment unless I'll actually decide I'll put the, my extra reserve core on rain needles so putting it at level two okay. and then now that it's at 3000 BP, I'll go ahead and I'll swing at your life. I will block that with Dragon Captain. Spe oh, because they're tied, I will both get KO'd. Mm -hmm. And because uh, one of my characters, well, because Dragon uh, Captain died, its excess core goes into the uh, used zone. And because one of my uh, uh, spirits died, I can play from the burst zone landmine and destroy one of your uh, spirits with 3,000 or less BP. All right. Uh, for free as it was burst up. That's the end of my attack step, so that'll pass the turn. Okay, so at the start step, I will refresh all of my cores in the reserve. I will get a new core from the void, and I'll draw a card. I will spend four of my cores to play blazing... Actually, I'll spend... I won't, I won't use that one. To play blazing boar, and I'll have it enter with one of my cores, and when it enters the... Uh, Battlefield, I can add a red spirit from my trash to hand, so I will take back my dragon captain. All of my cores from the reserve have been spent, so I will just swing at you for two. I have nothing to block with, so I will take one life. Goes to my trash. And I'll just end my turn there. Start step, draw a core step, I will refresh my cores and grab a new one from the void. Oh core then draw step but you know technicalities there refresh step i have no spirits to refresh so i'll just go ahead and go into my main step for a cost of two i will play the dra dragon trooper and give it a single core so it's at 1000 bp since i have one on the board and it has a core of one i'll go ahead and reduce the cost to play another dragon trooper by one to then I'll go ahead and I'll put it at level one as well. Since I now have two dragon troopers, I can reduce the cost by up to two to play dragon captain. So I will pay one for dragon captain and then put my red core on it. So it can be at 3000 DP. Yikes. So I'll go ahead and I'll start my attack step. Now that I know you can't block, I'll go ahead and I'll swing at your life for one BP. I have to take that because I cannot block. I'll swing again with another dragon trooper. I'll take that. And I'll swing again with my dragon captain. 
Okay, so I have just taken three. I don't like that. And that's the end of my turn. All right, I will put everything into the reserve during the start step. Get another core, draw, and refresh. Because of uh, have, I have the Blazing Boar on the board, I can pay, I only need to pay two for my Dragon Captain, who will enter with one level. I will just play the Dragon Captain and simply end my turn. All right, um, beginning of my turn, I will go to my core step, so I'll refresh my trashed core, grab a new one from the void, draw, and refresh. I'm going into my main step. Since I have three cores, well, I can only reduce it up to two for this card, so reducing the cost by two, I will pay three to activate um, my magic spell. I can select one of my my opponent spirits with 3,000 BP and destroy it. So I'll select the captain. Okay, 3,000 goes to try. Uh, core goes to the core zone. And I will put a burst card down as well. Okay. So then I will now swing at your life for 3,000 BP. During the flash step, uh, pay that everything for my own volcanic break and I will kill uh, the Dragon Captain All directly. Right. So then I will swing for 1 BP at your life. I will block that with the boar who has 2,000 BP. Alright. And I will swing again for 1 BP. I have to take that, putting me down to 1. And that's my turn. I will draw, put everything in, and get another core. Because I have something on the board, 3. Oh, wait, I didn't even refresh all of my cores. Silly me, I needed that. I'll pay three uh, to cast the Blade Dino Parasaur. I'll have it enter just with one, just to leave it uh, ready. And then because I have two things, the total cost is reduced, so I only need to pay one for my Dragnagard. I'll have enter at level two, so it has 3,000 BP. I'll swing at you for two. Drag. I will take it. I will just end my turn. All right, dart, we're going to my core step. Grab a new one from the void. Draw and refresh. Since I have one, I'll reduce the cost by one. I'll pay two for the dragon captain. Uh, I might as well, since I have nothing in my hand, I will put four cores, putting it at level three for a seven DP. I will add two more cores to my dragon trooper, putting it at three thousand BP. Okay. The attack step, I will attack your life for three thousand BP. I will block it with the Dragon of Guard for the same amount. Alright. So since um since you destroyed one of my spirits, I can select one of my opponent's spirits with three thousand BP or fewer and destroy it. So I'll destroy that. Alright, that goes over here. And then I will swing at your life for 7,000 BP. I have no blocker, so that is game. Thank you all for watching our gameplay for the upcoming TCG Battle Spirit Saga coming out in the spring of next year. Thank you as well to Bandai for offering us this amazing opportunity to try out these Battle Spirit flash decks. Some of you are excited for Battle Spirit Saga and we hope to bring on some more Battle Spirits content in the near future. Thank you all again and take care.